Hello guys, welcome to Spooky Game Tier List. Uh, this is an indie game tier list, but I'm only going to be ranking these um, horror games. I, Among Us doesn't really count. But yeah, these top ones right here, up until Poppy Playtime, are the ones that I've played and the ones I will be ranking. So yeah, uh, let's jump in. Starting off with the first FNAF. Uh, this game, I feel it's good. I really like it. But a lot of people treat it like it's the best game ever made, which FNAF is one of my favorite game franchises of all time. I could not stop playing it for years. But I like FNAF as a whole more, and the other games I like more. So I'm going to put this in Modern Classic. I think it's really good, but I like some of the other games more. Like FNAF 2. I love the Withered and the Toy Animatronics and how it's not too difficult, but you still get, like, you still have to deal with both of them. It's really cool, and I, uh, a lot of people hate the marionette mechanic, but, uh, it's actually, I, I really like it, actually. It's annoying, but I love it so much, because I love the puppet. Uh, I'm gonna put this in Modern Classic 2, but, I'm gonna put this in Modern Classic 2, but above FNAF. And at the end, I'll pick one of the ones from here to go at the top, but... FNAF 3, uh, it's better than people give it credit for, but... Green Trap is like the only really good part of the game. Uh, I like how the cameras are laid out. Uh, I like the lore behind it. I love the 8-bit mini games. But it's just kind of boring at times. And I hate the mechanic that you can hallucinate other other Spring Traps. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the middle. FNAF 4 is a game that does not get nearly enough credit. I think the nightmares are terrifying. Yes, the breathing mechanic is horrifying, but oh my gosh, it just it just adds to like another layer of spooky that I think is really good. And the plush trap mini games are so good. The Halloween one as well, I love it so much. So FNAF 4, I'm gonna put in real solid. Pizzeria Simulator is fun. Because it's just it doesn't even feel like a FNAF game. It feels like a fun pizzeria simulator game with the creepy horror backstory elements in the FNAF games that just make it really, really good. Uh, this is probably the one that I used to play the most just because it's, it's replay value and of how good it is. I'm putting this in Modern Classic. I think it's really cool. Now, FNAF AR... I never really liked it. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but every time I play it, all I get is Endos, and every time I get a Freddy, I never, like, actually get it. I don't know how to play the game. And one time, like, I got a Foxy, so I, I like, I got a Radioactive Foxy, and I just didn't get either of them. I, I don't know what's going on, but I'm putting this below average. Cool mechanic, just really buggy, and the game's dead. Also, some of the skins are just really weird. Okay, next is FNAF VR. A game that I really want to play more of, but it is so stinking terrifying in VR. When you play it, especially the Nightmare on level, it is so horrifying. Uh, I'm gonna put it in real solid. Because there's some levels that... Oh, no. There's some levels that I don't like about it. Uh, like the, the plush babies level. I don't like it. Security Breach had a good, like, first half. But it just got really bad with the ruin stuff. I don't know. I just really did not like it after, like, the first half of the game. I like the stuff with meeting Glamrock Freddy... The whole Roxanne Rolf segment, Wolf segment was pretty cool. Uh, the fast car racing was nice. Uh, but after like that first half, it just becomes really bland and boring. 
I like the references to FNAF 6, but, you know, it, it's, it's just par for the course, man. But it, it is better than FNAF 3. Uh, same thing with FNAF 4 is better than FNAF 4. I don't know. Uh, I'll do that. Okay, so Sister Location has some of my favorite animatronics in the entire FNAF, like, entire FNAF library ever. Some of the knights are really cool and have good mechanics, like the Funtime Freddy Knight I think is really fun. Uh, I'll put it in real solid, but the last, but I'll put it above FNAF 4, but not before uh, VR. UCN is a game that I just love to play and go back to because it has so much replay value. I, I like I like I love giving myself like little challenges on top of the built-in challenges. It just adds so much replay value. Uh, but it moves a few points because Dee Dee's annoying, uh, like real annoying. Some of the mechanics could have been fleshed out more. And it's missing some of my favorite characters. So, I'm going to put it at the end of Modern Classic. Bendy is a better game than a lot of people give it credit for. Credit for. I, I like the meme when people say it's like the most boring game ever. But it takes its time with his story. And I like that about it. It has great action. The characters are really good. The aesthetic is cool, and I, I just love so much about it. I've been loving the game since, like, 2018 when it first came out. And it's just better than a lot of people give it credit for. Like, I don't see where the heat come fr comes from. So, I'm going to put this at the top of Real Solid. Uh... I don't like what they did with the sequel. I thought it was just kind of generic. And I'm kind of scared for how they're going to treat the movie. But I have faith. I have faith that there's still a bit of the first Bendy game in there. Uh, Hello Neighbor is also a game that's better than people give it credit for. It's fun and buggy. The alphas, uh, Alpha 2, 3, and 4 are really good. Those are the games that I probably play more than the Hello Neighbor main game but it's just like it's just kind of a fun puzzle game i don't really care about the story i like the puzzles i like the mods made out of it it gives it a ton of replay value and the mods are really fun there's a lot of really good uh mod makers so with that i'm putting it in real solid yeah secret neighbor had an interesting premise it's like among us but it just, <laughs> I don't know. It was cool when it first came out. It's not cool now. It, they just added some weird stuff. It's very odd now. And, and I'm putting it in par for the course. Hello Neighbor 2 was a massive disappointment. The first like alpha or so was actually really good. Especially that very first alpha ever made there's so much mystery behind it because nobody knew what it was or like how it was found or not how it was found but like why it exists and that was just so much fun trying to piece together the puzzle pieces but the game is so dumb and it's so pointless and it's dog crap let's be real guys baldi's basics Modern classic. I do not care what you guys say. This game has genuinely gotten me through the worst of times. This this game has so many cool mods. It's so much fun. I've even made Baldi comics because of it. It's just such... I, I love Baldi's basics so much. That's why I literally have most of my videos be Baldi's basics is because the game is so much fun and there's so much good in it and to think that it was made for a game jam is crazy uh i love so many of the roblox Baldi's basics games you guys cannot tell me how i cannot tell you how much i love this game just because of the aesthetic and the characters and how fun it is
Especially when you get new mods. And some mods go like above and beyond what the game was originally was. Like Trapped Out of Control is a mod where Baldi dies. And it's just like this whole really cool thing with this like it takes you out of the real world of Baldi's basics. And you know, if this was just the base game, it would probably like be here or here. Uh but like because of all its mods and how it's been expanded upon since then, I'm putting it here. Um Baldi's Basics Plus it's good but i like the simplicity of the old game more i'm, I'm probably uh gonna do that for baldi's basics plus and there's not many like good baldi's basics plus mods i can't find any that are really like up to date baldi classic remastered was kind of disappointing like it had some cool lore secrets that i found were really interesting but besides that, it just kind of feels pointless. I mean, there's the whole theory theme my brother did a few months ago, which is interesting, but for like a whole remake, it's not really that good. Uh, same thing with the birthday. It's kind of just the game, but with a few extra layers of lore and a few new mechanics that I also think are pretty cool. So I'm, I'm gonna put it like uh, near Classic Remastered. The camping trip is crazy. That's like the first ever like different Baldi game. And you know, it's not really a game, it's just kind of a mode, but I think it's cool. You get to survive from Baldi, and of course there's the different mods. But it would have been higher if they had more characters. Like it's only Bully and Baldi. They could have added playtime, arts and craft, arts and crafters, isn't it? But like first prize, got a sweep. They could have done so much more with it. Uh, so I'm, I'm putting it in here, next to FNAF three. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll put it next to these guys, the the Baldy bunch over here. Tattletale is another game that's really good that people don't give enough credit for. It's fun. I love the 80s theme. I love it. I know I've said this a billion times, but I love a lot of these games aesthetics. And I just love Tattletale as a character. It's so funny to me. And I really like it. So I'm, I'm putting this. I don't care what you say. I'm putting it above FNAF VR. Just because it's such a unique idea, and it's it's such it's so cool. I haven't really played a lot of FNAF VR, so just don't hate me for that, please. Granny is a game I don't really know what to do with. It's fun, but the mods are cool. Uh, I'm gonna put it here real solid it's a fun game i like to go back to it from time to time uh but it doesn't really get updates anymore because they're like milking the franchise dead but you know it, it's cool for the time granny had as a popular game but i i just don't really see myself playing it that often anymore same thing with most of these games actually granny 2 i just think it's a slightly worse granny the inclusion of Grandpa's cool, but they it had a lot of like really weird elements. Like how you had to do a whole carnival game to get access to a helicopter where if you just pick up a manual you automatically know how to read. Like it's it's weird. The Slender Man game called Slender the Arrival. It's cool, but I, I barely played it, so I don't know where to rank this. I'll I'll just put it I'll I'll put it in here. Poppy Playtime's the last one. And this is dog crap. I'm... The game is fun. It's an actual well-made game. But the developers are so bad. They're such scumbags of people. And I don't want to get into it now, but they're really bad people. So I do not want to support the game. And that's not even mentioning how they literally just scammed me when I bought the game. Uh... They waited until 
it's long enough for you to not refund the game. They put out chapter two and make the original game free. How stupid is that? You know, copy play time. Yes, okay guys. And Baldi's Basics. I know a lot of people are gonna disagree, probably put FNAF 1 there. But Baldi's Basics is such a good game. I, I really just cannot get behind how much I love it. But yeah, there you go. That's my horror game tier list. What do you guys think?